Hello again, everybody. It's Harry Box of the Technical Trader at TechTrader.com. It's Monday, the 15th of January. Happy uh, three day weekend, everybody. And uh, let's take a look at where we're at in the market. Um, interesting divergence going on here, which is uh, concerning to me. Uh, first of all, the underlying technicals aren't great, but on, on top of that, I'm seeing the S&P and NDX hold up, while the transportations and small cap IWM are not. And take a look at the one, two, three, four way move we had, and maybe the beginning of a fifth, or a failure, a truncated fifth wave we come down. It does favor a little bit of an upside first, as much as 5,000, but um, I'm not sure we get there. Bottom line is though, we do not want this market under 46.80.82. That would trigger a much deeper reach race, first 46.20 and 45.60 for starters. And that's the S&P 500. That's like 100 similar with a one, two, three, four and a fifth wave started, but at the highs or near them. And we've had six days in a row up on the um, NDX. But you can see only four of the last six were up on the S&P. A bit of, and now I wouldn't say negativity, but the real concern is here. And by the way, on the NDX, key support, just to give you the number, 16,350. The resistance is 16,970. The target would be 17,7. A downside break, that's like 100 support is about 15,8. And then 15.3. And that's where we stand if we do break and, and or whether we break out to the upside. Here's the concern. Transportation index not only has broken after multiple waves up, but it's formed a declining bear flag. That's pretty negatory. And this consists of, you know, railroads, shippers, truckers. <clears throat> so we'll have to see what happens. But that does not look good. And that is a non-confirmation of what I'm seeing in the NDX and S&P. Basic Dow theory, not a good sign. IWM breaks its trend line. It's forming a very similar pattern, more of a lateral flag. Friday, it made an attempt to get over 197. A week before that, also 197. There is resistance there. Key support now. 190, 12 zone. If we break that, we're looking at 186 to 183 in that zone or worse. Here's my concern. I'm not getting confirmation. As a matter of fact, I'm getting negative divergence from the IWM and the transportation. Let's keep a cautious mind out on that one, folks. Be really careful going forward. Okay. Obviously, we day trade. We're in, we're out, um, no matter what the market does. But on swing trades, it may get more difficult here, so be careful. Make sure your stops are in place. <clears throat> okay. And we're going to take a look at the underlying technicals. And we're seeing the McClellan Oxide is down in minus 90 territory, which means we're not quite oversold, but getting there. And we could quickly get to minus 200 or 150 and get into a more oversold position and then rally this market. We'll see. The percentage of stocks above their 40, it's not too low over. You can see this pullback, which is very similar to what we saw here, here, there, and each time the market is there. Each time we start to roll over from the top, we had a pretty big decline. So what concerns me about this, is there any further damage? And this thing is going to drop pretty rapidly. So we're set up for a downside hit, and I don't know whether we're going to get one or not, or whether we go up first. But I'm really concerned about this market. OK, the VIX. Well, this thing hasn't been reliable for a long time. You think this is like two months or six weeks in this you know, 12 to 14, 15 range. Um, at some point, and that's the lowest level, by the way, in three years, going on four years now. So, you know, apathy is at its greatest in four years. Um, in terms of fear, there is none. And that's a good setup for a downside hit. So, I'm, you know, uh, urging caution for all traders on all long positions. Simple as that. Let's take a look at the components. Apple looks terrible. I'll show you why in a moment. Break down with a breakaway gap and form a bear wedge below the moving averages and price of resistance. If they break this wedge, Apple goes down to 180, 175. I don't know why or where 
or what is going on with Apple. But I could see the stock at 169.70. And if that occurs, 185, you have a pretty legitimate bear face. You might even get down less than that. But I'm going to just say that first target would be a retest of the recent low, 181 and a half. Amazon, a lot better to say the least. And I believe hit a new uh, two year high on Thursday before backing up slightly on Friday. Actually, Friday was more of an inside day. Let's look at it. See the coil there? So Amazon's still very bullish. Google, no slouch, made a new one year high as well um, on Thursday. So, Thursday was a big day for the market. But, you know, I think the keys to this market are the strong stocks, meaning that if Google, which is strong, and Amazon, which is strong, suddenly turn down, this market's got hell in a handbasket. Okay. Um, Microsoft, very strong. A new all-time high at 390, which is a target of mine from way back there. Now, I'm, I can see 415 as a target, or maybe 412, 15 zone up there. At some point, obviously a hard stop on Microsoft, the 360, 230, under there. Netflix, I'm surprisingly strong. In a new monthly year, if not all time high, I don't think it's all time now, but hit a new two, three year high um, and then backed off. So this one's got to get up through on something to watch above 503. It could run to the target of 540 or better. But it's so close to the trend line that it could break too. So be careful with that. In addition to some of the other strong stocks we just showed you, look at Meta. Meta, Microsoft, Netflix, you know, these stocks are stocks that you need to keep an eye on. I think if you look at a weekly chart, last week's lows will be important, very important. So watch this one under 352. Might be a big problem, but that's 22 points for you. And Tesla is in trouble. The stock is a broken moving averages, trend line, not a price support. If you're filling a gap here, look, it just looks to me like it's headed to 2078, 2056, sorry, and maybe as low as 195.6. Um, the only problem I have with Tesla, if you're short, is that 10 out of the last 11 days, that's right, 10 out of 11 days, the stock's been down. So it's overzealed short term, it could bounce. If it bounces in a 238.9 a week volume, it's likely to be a short. But I feel the gut feel here is this could extend to 205 away quickly in the, in the next few days. So stay tuned. NVIDIA, well, a powerhouse too, to say the least. A new all time high on Thursday, 533. The next target, if it gets through this 550 to 55 zone, which is going to Target of mine for a long time. Would be near success. Let's go at 590.92. So obviously we have some strong stocks. Nvidia is one. Meta is one. Netflix, Microsoft, and Amazon. Those five should could lead the way both up and down. On the weak side, Apple and Tesla have problems. So we shall see what we get going forward. Um, now let's look at some of the other ETS we follow closely. And Semiconductor Group, pretty strong, but I'll caution everybody. We've had a one, two, three, four. If we can get a fifth wave, we lead the market higher for one more last breath and leg, and then we go down. That would be around 183.85. And on the downside, a break of that line and the moving average would spell disaster under 164-ish. This market could fall pretty rapidly. But that's SMH, Semiconductor. Financials, pretty powerful, but that was in what we call a bearish engulfing bar on Friday. If they're failing to get up through resistance for three weeks, and that's at 84 and three quarters 85. Now, the key number for the financials is if it gets under 78 and a half, right through here, we could come down to 73 and a half or even 68. So I'm concerned that this has turned lower already. And it's reversed on Friday. But again, one day there's not a bear market or bear phase make on any stock or index. You're going to have a follow through to the downside. But it's a clue. If you see FAS break, the market may not be good. Now, on the plus side, the biotech was real, real strong and have been for a while. But take a look at the last three days. 
So the XBI takes out, you're gonna see a bare face, folks. If the XBI takes out, let's call it 87. If financials take out, FAS takes out 78. And the SMH takes out 164. And I think that we're in a full-fledged pullback bear mode. Until then though, there's still the possibility of a fifth wave extensions. So that's why this is a tough call here. But I'm still leaning to the negative side until I see the market um, tell me differently. Okay, so now you've seen the indices, the technicals, and some of the main ETFs, but let's look at what gold is telling us. Nothing except Friday did bounce. There's a gap right there in the GBX, but you see the trend line is broken. I prefer Nugget, which held support and bounced on Friday. It didn't close great, but it's still up about 6%, I'll take it. And the JNUG up about 7%. See, the JNUG cracked its trend line and snapped back to it. Got to get through here or fails and rolls over. I'm not convinced yet, and neither am I on, on silver. And silver bounced Friday as well. So I need some follow through on silver and gold to see if we can get that moving. It's a big base pattern, but sloppy. And after an inverse head and shoulders, it breaks out, returns back down, has a one, two, three. You can see this in support from the November pullback low. What about the individual stock? Well, the one I do follow, and it's a swing trade, is Wheaton, the leader in silver. The pullback got right to the moving average, near price support, and that's the break there. If it gets underneath 46, I want you out. Um, if it gets above 51, I'm looking for 52 and a half, 55, 56 and a half, something like that. Not a bad pattern. But when you look look at sister silver stock PA, it's completely different. See that? This thing's going nowhere until it gets over 17 and a quarter with volume. It's too sloppy for me. I prefer Wheaton by far. Look, there's other gold stocks. I'm not going to go over them, but EGO, this little EGO, El Dorado, beautiful chart. An easy stop, too. See this double bottom? To 11 uh, and three quarters. You can just be out of it. You know? And over 13 and three quarters. I look for 16. Relative strength in EGO, which is massive, by the way, inverse head and shoulders, is solid. I'm not going to get into that right now. What about oil? Well, look at USO Recover. And it's still, a, look, it went, a, took out the declining top sign, but not, and it did take out the 50. It closed right there, I believe. Right on the 50. Nope, I'm wrong. It closed back down beneath it. So this is still vulnerable, in my opinion. And we'll just have to see if gold and, I mean, and silver and gold, what they're going to do next week. Um, let's move on. We have a lot of stocks to cover. And before I do that real quickly, I just want to show you natural gas as well. Oil, which got up to 50-day moving areas and backed off. It could be setting up for a move out if it gets above. 40 and three quarters, you could see, if, you know, full, high 40s, even low 50s. And sister stock on similar pattern, even stronger um, for me, as a target around eight. Um, let's move to the charts of the similar stocks we want to cover. AAOI, which has been fabulous for us all year, has come down hard and bounced, but boy, I'll tell you. You do not want this one in the 1670, and that's my stop. It's close. Be careful. Thursday was a really bad day for it. ABSI and the biotech group had a big run from a buck 15 all the way up to over five. Now, wedge. Obviously, stop would be underneath the bottom of that wedge, so stop under 345, over 465. You might see six or seven. ACCD in the software group, Accolade Information Services, actually. A nice run up, got to the target and backed off. Careful on this one because there's a lot of overhead resistance. We should get through 17. You might see this thing have a major move out of a large multi year phase. ACET, strong trend, pulled back wedge. Just watch last week's low of 294. Anyway, above 390, 
380 in the 380 range. You can see five. A CLX, beautiful long term chart, multiple waves up, platforming the last couple of months, which you really need. And it's one, it's a move across this double top. Once you see that, your target is going to be mid 60s and mid 70s. ACMR stuck its head out, it may have broken out. This is a, a semiconductor technology services. Yeah. So you can see it's coming out of resistance here. Channel top target right now is 25. You know, that 30. AEHR. Well, folks, I'm showing you this because this has not improved. It's gotten much worse. I told you this was a bear wedge after a major uptrend. Breaks here. Comes a bear flag, comes down hard. Takes about a month and a half to form a large wedge, a rising wedge. It fails at the trend line. It gets pulled. And I mean pummeled. 30 to 17 in two, two and a half weeks. It's at my target, which I said was 17. Secondary target, 13. Doesn't look good. AGQ we mentioned earlier. Alpine is a neat looking biotech stock. It's come through major resistance here. It's headed for 26, in my opinion. Altimune. Beautiful rising channel. Sharp trend here. Right now, this looks like a new uptrend. So, and this looks like a bull coil. You get above Wednesday's high. Above 13, you're looking at 17 and 20. I like to look at this. Easy stop underneath the pullback low. It would be under 945. Um, ALXO is a junior biotech I've been following. It broke through a triple top here with a breakaway and trending upward. I like that trend line there. And my extension target is 19. AMPX, double bottom, breakout, pullback, retest, spike up. One, two, three, and four is a wedge. However, on Friday, that wedge broke out right there. Jumping. 47 cents or 10 percent nearly a million traded a good volume a good obv i'm now looking for a retest of the spike high at six and now look to see where it goes and if it's been in a month or uptrend for a year well since may anyway but it traded under 22. it's gone from 22 to 99. how about that no, no top in sight not, not until it breaks down under the support which right now is 87. Target 110. APLD coming down, breaking out, moving averages crossover, nice rising channel. Breaks out again on Monday of last week and then pulls back. Beautiful rising channel intact. Next target 10, 11 range. APLS, one of our top you know, tech traders, fakes way back here in August when it was trading at 38 9. <laughs> excuse me, nearly doubled by getting up into the 7380 range for the pullback this week, but it's flagging. Next target, 77, 79 zone. How about ARDX? Look at that base. Breakout flag. Multiple waves up. Another pop last week, and then a four-day consolidation. That could be a nice setup, especially if it gets through 938, we might see, you know, 1011. AU, gold stock forming a base, but it's going nowhere until it gets over 20. Just wanted to show you that. BASE, look at this long base it's built. It's a couple of years now. And it appears that it wants to come up and out of it. It's going to have to get through 24 and a half, then your targets are high 20s. Biohaven, nice trend since it got crushed a year ago, October. But it's recovered steadily, and you can see the recent angle on the scent has improved. I would now look for a move towards 65. BLND with a V bottom and a long platform breaks out and now wedging. I like this look. I prefer it doesn't take out 225. That's my support. I move over to 275, and we're looking at three and three quarters four. And Boyle, well, we showed you that a little while ago. It's starting to look better. 
BRZE in the software group. Look at that beautiful rising channel. Held support recently. And Friday was a big, significant engulfing reversal day. Uh, and it was up 7% net net. And now we're looking to see whether it takes out this decline top line. If it does that, 62 target. BSX, long term uptrend, new all time highs, targeting 64. Kaba, finally making a move from about a month ago, broke through the double top, consolidated, ran, and then backed off. Key support 19, resistance 24, target 27. CAPT exploded on Friday and finally broke out of that coil that I've been showing you by jumping 25% one day. That's just in stock, but it can fly for those. Take a look at where it's at. Watch this one early next week because it could run into the 6 7 zone if it takes off. CBay. Beautiful tech trader swing continues on the long one, two, three, four, five. Could be we're getting long in the tooth here. So just simply keep raising your stops. Put a stop now under 22 or target 28. CCCC exploded in December, pulled back, and now the move moving its way up slowly. But it did back off late in the week, unable to get through the double top. So that's your key resistance now. Eight quarter, eight forty fifty. If it does extend, 10 and a half to 12 are targets. CCJ with uranium is running, and CCJ the leader. When I see a pop like this, and a surge in the last week, it took it up every day from 42 to 51. It is at the top of the channel, but slightly above it. You may get an extension that takes this to 56.7. CLBT. Beautiful base, breakout, retest, pop, flag. I like the look of this. I have a $10 and 10 and 11 and a half targets. CLS, after breaking out last May, as things run from 10, 11 zone into the high 20s, tagging 30, or actually a little bit above it. Your stop now on this one has to be under 25 and three quarters. But above 30, I'm looking for 33 and 36. Um, Collegium, multi-year highs, if not all-time highs. Yeah, it is an all-time high. And steady rising channel, too. Now, it did spike and pull back. you got to be careful of that trend line. But I believe we have key support in that 30, 31 zone with targets in the high 30s. COUR, educational training stock. Beautiful rising angle from 10 to 21. Now, the angle of ascent was broken. Support hasn't been, not yet anyway. But I would say, don't want to see this under the weekly low. Friday's low was 18.64, put a stop on 18 and a half. We targeted 21, 23, and 25. Credo, like this a lot, long base after a breakout. <laughs> then it broke out again, retested. Popped to a new high, reversed, and retested. Held the 50 and trend line and moving average, popped again. Keep an eye on this one next week. I believe if it gets over 20, 20 and a quarter, it could run into the low to mid 20s. First target, 24 and a half. That's a tech trader swing, by the way. CRNT, I've been watching this one for years. Two year, nearly two year base pattern. But what a big move it had last week. 211 to 289. We get above that 290 zone. That's where I think this really okay, takes off. Nice base being built. Longer term targets, four and a quarter and six. Fanatics, breakaway gap, platform, and breakout. Really like to look at this too. 42 target. CRISPR, big run up, a sharp one in October, in November, December. So I'll go from under 38, nearly doubling. A month ago, I tagged as high as 77. And then pull back down. It's got a large wedge for me. If it should pop, we retest the tops up in that high 70s, and then maybe high, high 80s. The stop has to be under 58. Cognizant breaks out of a base, pulls back and tests it, and pops. Usually a good sign wants to go higher, targeting 82 and 90. Carvana, well, it had a nice run to resistance, but the pullback has taken it back to key support. 
moving average and trend lines are near too. Under 39 is a stop. Over 49, I can see back to 60 or better. CYTK exploded and then popped. Hard down on Thursday, held support. This is a key number now. You cannot let this get under 73. It is very volatile. Your targets are 108 and 125. DBX, I'm not sure if they're being taken over or what, but this is a nice one, two, three, four, five. Unfortunately, it's already gone from the low of November from 20, 24 to 31. And long term, there's resistance here. We get through that. This thing could be something. It might be a takeover. Dell, on the effect creator swing since it broke out and pulled back in here, then coiled, popped, pulled back, and got money again. Is that it's all time high. Friday's high of 80.44 is the highest level it ever reached. My extension targets 83 and then 90. The Rap Kings have broken down under support, coming back to resistance, and now I'm concerned that if it breaks this line, we're going to have to stop this one under 32, and, and we're only a point away. If it gets over 35, five and a half in volume, maybe it resurrects the trend, and then it targets to 39 and 44. But I'm worried that a breakdown under 31, 90, 32 can plunge us into the mid 20s. DRS. Now, some of the junior aerospace companies have been acting well. This has been one that's gone from under 10 to low 20s and now coiling for the last six weeks. It's a bull setup, but you don't want it underneath call it 18. Target 24.5. Dine. Long base. More than a year. Multiple tops. Broken. Retested. Target 21.24. EGO, we showed you earlier. That's a junior goal with good amount of strength. Elon, big run up since October's low when it hit eight and a half. It's nearly doubled to 1590. The trend is your friend, the trend looks up to me. Next target, 18. I point, popped and pulled back. We put a swing on it and then ran up to target number one and backed up and it broke out Friday. I'm a believer on this one. I think it goes to 29. Shippers are strong FRO, no exception. Look at Friday's action. Looks like it got right up there, resistance, and backed off. Anyway, a move though uh, to 23, and I think we're looking at 26 or more. FRPT, fresh pet breakaway gap, coil, run up to resistance, and now it's for another coil. Looks like a one, two, three, four, doesn't it? If I extrapolate this properly, looking at um, one crisp hundy, meaning that's right, a hundred dollars. This is a good looking chart, it might be a good option play too. Fusion, a little bit junior biotech with a breakout to multiple tops, breakaway gap, pull back and retest. Nice setup. Next target, you know, it gets through here, might be 14. So your targets on that one are 11 and 14. GCT, finally had a pullback and a hard one off the key resistance and my target at 26, reaching 26.45 before plunging. Stop this one, under 17 and a quarter. And we showed you one of the gold ETFs as well. Geo is a tech trade of swings because it broke out in October. In the eight range, it keep, kept running, went up to 11.35, pulled back on the trend line within the rising channel. If it continues or extends, 12 and a half target. GCOS exploded in December and pulled back, and then I was exploding yet again. Now I had a target on this one at about 100, 99 to 100. I think that's going to be your extension. IAG, long consolidation. This should not be in my list. I'm not sure why that's on there. Sorry about that. IDYA is what I wanted to say. There you go. So IDYA breaks out. Put a long-term chart. It's a big one, two, three, four, five. In long term, it's more than that. Beautiful base. It's seeing it run to new all-time highs. I can see the stock in the mid-40s. IMNM breaks through with long consolidation and just keeps running with the bullish engulfing day on Friday. The extension target is 14 three quarters. IMVT is another biotech with a break rate pop, coil, breakout, retest, retest. What we're, what we're looking for in this one, 
Should get over 45 and a half. The target is 60. Hang an FN. Beautiful V bottom, breakaway gap, and now rising channel underway. If I can get it up through here, which is key resistance, my target is going to be six, six and a half. IOT, long term uptrend. One, two, three, four, five wave, wave one, two, and three. Um, three is still consolidating and still developing. But if it's a short term consolidation and it goes again, 50 is a potential target. So I'm looking for 40 and 50 in this one. IO vents, big trade of swing, breaks out, breaks out again, retests, breaks out again, retests. This stock looks fabulous. Targeting 11 and 14. KD breaks through a double top of the breakaway gap, flags, and stairs up its way higher. Looking at this chart, I'm now looking for something to test the IPO range. Eventually get it up in the high 20s. Um, Kinesa on the nice run, but it's near key resistance. And through this, the double top gets tested at 28. That's my next target. Two bigs through 20. Copen, the big base, and it's starting to run again, is right up against resistance. Friday was a big day for it. Let's just say, in my opinion, it gets above two and a half. We're going to see three, four, and five. Kate Dose, another junior aerospace. Went up an uptrend for a year. From 939, 21 and 42. More than doubled. It's pulled back recently, consolidating within a rising channel. Potential next target, 24. LABU may be in trouble, we'll see. It did reach a level that pulled it right back to the trend line. The stop is under 112. Should this get over 142? Target is 155. LBPH popped and pulled, pulled back. We put a swing on this one. It's still flagging. I think if the flag breaks, it explodes into the low to mid 30s or more. I just tech, tech traded swing since it broke out here. It's been nothing but up. That fabulous chart from the low 70s to the high 90s, tagging as high as 96.65 near my 99 or 100 target long term. Pretty impressive, but it's out some key overhead resistance up here. Careful, particularly if the market comes down. Uh, you know, you can easily stop this one under the same pullback lows. And this one stop under 90.91. LQR, nice V button with a big run up in volume and now a coil for a month. Interesting pattern. Nothing to do, however, until it breaks out over 520 with energy. Then you're looking at six and three quarters and eight and a half. MBAI. Sorry, it's off my list today. MD, um, MD actually was a tech trade swim and it broke out, but it then rolled over. What I'm concerned about in this one, there'll be any break under there. So there's your stop. Now, if it sets up a flag or wedge in here, let's call it a wedge. It breaks out. The first thing you want to watch for next week, you kind of get back over 830. Then your target is 935 and 10 and a half, 11. METC in the coal sector breaks out of a flag and runs and pulls back for three, four days near support. Extension target, 25. MGNX breaks out of a base, forms a wedge, and just keeps running. Beautiful chart. We're getting 14 or better. Excellent momentum. Stop under nine and a quarter. MOD has been in a rising channel for more than a year. Well, listen, that fabulous chart. Here, almost two years. And based on just the extension, the angle, 70 is my target, 70, 72. MP, well, I broke out here and I put a swing on it. Ran up to um, just underneath target number one and then pulled back right off the trend line, off the lateral price support, off the 50 day moving average. This is a must stop. Stop this one on the 17, targets at 23 quarters and 23. MXCT comes out of a downtrend, flags and breaks out. So I'd like to look at this one for moving to the 6 7 range. And with Shipper's strong little NAT, Nordic American is nearing a break through the double top. If it gets to 485, my target is 5 and 3 quarters 6. Nexi explodes, pulls back, explodes again and pulls back. 
needs to hold it right around here, but your extension on the fifth wave would be 21. Very volatile stuff. <clears throat> NGL breaks a long multi multi month consolidation over six months as a vertical and flags. Engulfing reversal day Friday has me a bit worried, but my target is six and three quarters. NKTX, miracle chart, explosive move a week ago and then a pullback last week. Orderly, low volume, one, two, three, four. Fifth wave, maybe mid teens. Nerd wallet, break rate gap, a sharp run up, coil. Breakout and then now another one. That would be right there. Or flag. Either way, though, I think it says designs are going higher. And here's the angle of what it looks like targeting 17. NRG breaks out of a base platforms and runs up and goes to. All time highs, highest level ever achieved in this stock. Tells me the possibilities are that we can extend this into the high 50s. NTAP breaks out of a base with a breakaway gap and a pullback to test of 50. Target 97. NTES, well, this is on my short list, sorry about that. I got out of sequence, folks. Just bear with me a moment. NTNX, Nutanix, beautiful rising chart. It's one of my favorites all year. Breakaway, breakaway, breakaway. Actually, breakaway, running, running, and I don't think it's exhausting yet, but the target's mid 50s. NTRA, recent tech trade swing broke out and pulled right back. So we're going to keep a stop under 58. Target 70. NXE, big pop on Friday. It broke out recently of a resistance platform and ran again with an extension near nine. That's your target. Auric, beautiful. One, two, three, four, and five. This is only one, two, three, four, or five. I think we got one more leg to 11, 12 zone. Husker, it's a tech traded swing and it breaks out of a massive inverse head and shoulder base, too. This can support a much bigger move. Now I have an angle near 22, 25 zone. This could double from here. Very powerful. OSUR. OSUR, one, two, three, four, five, little five wave falling wedge. Breakout through the moving average. Runs up, tests and pulls back, tests and breaks out, and then retests the breakout point. Right now it's moving up to a target. And I, my opinion, is a $10 stock. PATH, break, breakaway pop, and, and then I put a swing on it. Hasn't done much other than back and fill in here. And the key is 26. Through that, you're looking at 30, 31. Puma is a low price junior biotech. I've been following for years, but I like this now two year base pattern up against resistance. Friday was a good day for it, up 10% on a lousy day. The volume was okay, it's a thin stock, but if it gets to the five and a quarter range, we might see six and a half and seven. Backsite, been bullish on this for since the breakout a year, year and a half ago. You can see how it ran up, pulled back, ran up, coiled, and ran up again. Um, I think we can extend to mid 70s. PHR, V button with a the platform, there's your breakaway gap, and runs to resistance. That's the bull flag right now. I have some slight resistance and the next target at 26. If it gets through that one, I think you're headed to 31. Impinge has been on my a, a long list since it popped here and pulled back and went from the high 50s to 90. Good swing trade. 92.27. Now the pullback is on support. Stop under 78. It's right there. Careful. Pinterest. I added it this week because its long term chart is looking great. And it recently ran off the trend line, but it backed off. Channel top resistance. So this is at the point where it either pops and goes or rolls over. Your stop would be under 35. PSM, beautiful rising channel. Breaks out of a coil this week and runs. Hits my target and backs up. But this is overbought. Long term, short term, it's just breaking out. Target 69. 
Yes, TG. Love this chart. Long consolidation and then a platform with an island reversal. When you see that, it's usually pretty bullish. You get through resistance at 80 at 37. The target's 40 and 44. Ramp popped on Friday to the highest level in a couple of years. But it got to the channel top and back off. Let's see if this one accelerates. If it does, mid 40s. <clears throat> Rocket Pharmaceuticals, V bottom and a long platform, more than a year. Double top breakout here, retest and run. Now another retest pullback. My target is 37. We test 32 first. RNA, tech traded swing, pop broke out, pull back, retested, popped the rising flag, breakout, and now another flag. Target, a retest of the 12 and 3 quarter range, then 14. Ryovant, been on my list for a couple of years ever since it broke out here. Um, well, I'm liking this stock long term for a move to 13 and 16. RXST, powerful, powerful chart. Big break over from the base. Large run up that saw this go from like a 9 10 range into the mid 30s. Then a multi month consolidation. There's another breakout. Moving averages cross over. The stock runs up and retests. Breakaway gap and a flag. We get through here, we can accelerate it to the 60s. This is a really neat chart. Sava inverse head and shoulder breakout retest held moving average trend line, and now it's popped up again. We'll just have to see. But obviously, resistance that comes in at 31 2, that would be my target. SCRA with an explosive pop, pullback, pop, falling wedge, and now movement Thursday and Friday. Keep an eye on this one next week for a move to 7.30 and a target of 10. SFM, Sprouts Farmers Markets, a beautiful rising channel on Donnelly with the new all-time highs. Looks like it can extend to the mid-50s. Shopify's been in a rising channel too and pulled back twice and retested successfully. So your stop has to be under 72. Your target is mid-channel around 93.4 and then 103.4. This Skechers is bro just broken out again. Uh, I make great shoes, they really do. Um, that's neither here nor there from a technical standpoint. This is a good chart. I'm looking for 70. SLDB, powerful advance since um, beginning of November. And it was trading at a buck 81. And then it made up to, believe it or not, 904. So, you know, three or 400% high run up and it doesn't look good to me. I think it can accelerate into the low teens, maybe 11, maybe 14. Solano, SLNO, pop, pull back. We put a swing on it and then took a few weeks to consolidate. Pop the flag, pop the flag again. Great chart, $48 target, followed by 55 Scholar Rock, SRRK, broke out here. We put a swing on it and then backed off and popped the wedge. That, that's where I noted this stock would breaks out and boom. And then the pullback to the moving average here. Looks like a large one, two, three, four. And I'm not sure we're done yet. But you want to stop on the 1490. STNE, big breakout of a long base pattern. Rising channel, consolidating, targeting 20 and 23. Scorpio tankers, STNG. New all time high on Friday. 67.30. I don't know how far they can take this one, but momentum is pretty strong. But I would stop on the Thursday's low, 61. STTK with a breakaway gap and a big one, and now a rising wedge, and then a really nice extension. It doesn't look done, does it? $15 target. TARS, inverse head and shoulder breakout flag, and then a surge. Looking for a test of 25 and 27. Restaurant group, Carol's Restaurant, TAST, with a beautiful rising channel, broke out, pulled back and popped again. Now, if it gets through eight and a half, you might see 10 and 12. TK Tankers, I believe a shipper of oil and gas tankers. This is a beautiful rising channel along with the rest of the stocks in that group. I think we're not, we're not even at the acceleration points. This could be a 10, $12 stock. Twist Bioscience breaks out of a base. It consolidates. Any movement through 39, mid 40s and lower mid 50s may be doable. UEC, the junior uh, uranium stock looking really good. See the breakdown on Friday? If, if it accelerates in this target, you have a $10 target. And you, you, little junior UIS tech traded swing when it broke out, 
is known dramatically from the three and change to seven and change. Recent high was seven or four, and now the pullback. But the target now is 835.50. UP, beautiful base, breakout of wedge. Look at this right at the apex. A little bit of a bearish day Friday. Keep an eye on it because should it pop over five, I'm looking for eight. And UTI, another educational training stock base breakout platform, spike through resistance, pull back and go again. Very strong chart. We're at 10 year highs, looking for 14 and a half. You, 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 yet another, another stock in the um, uranium group. Popped on Friday. It's the weakest of the group, in my opinion, but still, um, I think you can make it back up to nine. Viking Therapeutics broke out. We put a swing on it. It did very well. Flag popped again and pulled back. Still looking for a move that gets this one to mid 20s. That's my next target. We're on this in a beautiful rising channel. And I think you're going to test 50 on this one. VRT also, similar product pattern. That's what I'm seeing now. On a near term basis, I have a target on a high 50s on this one. VST is another that looks good. It's been running for a year. I have a target in the mid 40s. VTEX, a new one I've added this week. I like the base breakout flag, pullback, retest, wedge, pop flag, and there she goes. Eight and a half, and then 11 are targets. Vizio. If the breakaway gap and a rising channel, they pull back the coil. It's going to break out. If it does, $9 target. Big move on WIT on Friday. Is it not with vertical? From, well, it's not as big as it looks, but it did go from 545 to 639, nearly a point. It closed at the highs. So I want to show you the breakout of the base. The possible extension six and three quarters at eight. Showed you Wheaton silver purveyor leader looking good. Wrap did finally break out across the trading range and then pulled back, but it's sitting here. If this consolidates and takes out 368, four and a half and five and a half are targets. And finally, XBL Logistics, my favorite transportation stock. Long term looks like $140 stock. Zim. The uh, shipper had a big negative reversal day Friday. I still like the overall look of lesser break support, which right now is down about oh, 12. And there are a few shorts to go over. We shall do that right now. Just a small list. I'll be getting, doing some more research this, you know, today. AEHR, I wanted to point out, is on my short list because of that bear wedge. And it certainly got hammered, didn't it? ASAN, not sure what the setup is just yet, but if it fails here, I'm looking for 16 and 13. ABAB is pulled back to support. And I see the resistance. We just have to see if that's as bearish as I thought it might be. Right now, it isn't. CHX in the oil sector breaks key support in the last week. It should have break on the 25, the stock could be in the high teens. CMT, a bear flag if I've ever seen one, and now another mini flag. This should be a text rate of swing short. CQP in the oil sector, another bearish looking chart. The only thing I'd say about this one is a possible bear wedge formation. Target 47, 41. CSPI broke back out on Friday. And I may eliminate it from the list, although it could be forming a massive top formation. FLW, FLYW wedged, broke down, retested, and trying to roll over. I think we are going to get a test of at least 19 on this one. That breaks, we got a big problem. FOXF should be a tech trade swing. I might put this one out on Tuesday, short. It looks to me like it's going to retest high 40s and maybe even high 30s. AMD similar, breaking a bear wedge to the downside, it appears. Target 18 and a half and all the way down to 13 and a half. 
still, which came down and bounced in front of the bear wedge. I then put a next rate of swing short. It subsequently has dropped from 27 to 23 and a half. Next targets are 22 and 19. LNTH, same, rising wedge to resistance. Look at that rollover. If it breaks here, right where it's at, your next target is 47 and a half. So NTE has broken the top pattern and rallied right to resistance and won't pull back. This is the key point for the stock. Either it explodes here or implodes. Walmart, rising wedge, and a head and shoulder top. Don't know what to make of that yet. I wouldn't short until I see a break, preferably under 155. Then the targets are 146 and 38. XPEL, another one that broke down this from the bear wedge and maybe failing. If it does, 40 and 38 are targets. And that comes uh, finishes my review for this weekend. Um, have a great rest of your weekend, everybody. Make sure you review this a couple of times and get prepared. Tomorrow's going to be an interesting day. This is HB out. Have a great weekend, and I'll talk to you later.